Welcome back. In this video I will walk through the yard test sequences for Code 8. This yard test is based in my area where I operate, namely Makwasi Hills. First you will be instructed to do the pre-trip inspection. First the outside inspection followed by the inside inspection. You will then be instructed to start the vehicle and move to the alley docking. The examiner will instruct you to drive over the first box, and to stop in the second box. When you are there you will wait for further instructions. Once you are inside the box the examiner will give you the instructions for the alley docking. Alley docking is reversing into a demarcated parking bay and then driving out again. You have two attempts, and you must not hit any obstacles including the curb, touching a line with a wheel will result in the end of the test. You will need to perform alley docking to the left and to the right. The examiner will also instruct you to stop at the second last pole. Once you complete the alley docking from both sides, the examiner will instruct you to move to the parallel parking to the left. Once you are inside the box the examiner will give you the instructions for the parking. Parallel parking consists of reversing into a parking bay to park the vehicle. It must be done in no more than three movements, and you must not bump any obstacles, including the curb. You have two attempts. You will need to perform parallel parking to the left and to the right. When you are done with the parallel parking from both sides, the examiner will instruct you to move to the incline start the examiner will instruct you to stop before the incline. Once you stop before the incline, the examiner will give you all the needed instructions, then the examiner will walk up and give you the sign to proceed. Once you stop at the line on top, the examiner will give you the instructions to move off and go down the incline without touching the lines at the left turn, and then to proceed towards the turn in the road namely the three-point turn. Once you stopped in the box for the three-point turn the examiner will give you the instructions for the turn in the road, you must complete the three-point turn in three movements only, without bumping any curbs, and your vehicle should end up facing in the opposite direction, on the opposite side of the road. You have one attempt, when you have complete the three-point turn the examiner will instruct you to switch off the vehicle, the examiner will then count your points.